All right, buenos dias, mis amigos. All right, so the, in relation to uh, the end of the world coming at any moment now, and this world being full of, des of deceivers, I'm going to use this uh, number seven video to show an example of people that either are deceivers or ignorant of the Word of God. Okay, and let me just make this easy for you to see. All right, in Luke 21, Jesus is asked, What shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And he lays out all these things that we should expect to see. And these things that will come to an end. And then he gives us a sign that when uh, a sign that for when he's coming in the clouds of heaven so it's important to understand when you're reading this that this will happen very quickly all right and when it happens when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven that there will be no more opportunity for the unsaved to get saved all right, and so this is not a, something that's going to happen, and you're going to be able to, to watch it on your phone. All right, or you're not going to be able to turn on the TV and watch Dan Rather reporting this. Okay? If you're on your phone or sitting in front of a TV when this is happening, you're on the wrong side of the fence. Okay? Because when this happens, we will be, we that are saved, will be lifted up into the air. Alright, and so the, then the wrath of God will be poured upon the unsaved. Alright, so if you're watching this stuff on the news, on your phone or whatever, it's too late for you. Okay. You had your chance. You had your opportunity to get saved. Your opportunity is right now. If you wait until that moment, it's too late. It's over before you know it. Okay, so in 1 Corinthians 15, for example, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. So this is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven all right so in Luke 21 when there's signs in the Sun and the moon and the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring it's too late for the unsaved to get saved men's hearts failing them for fear because they know it is now too late and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken all right so now this is the moment when everybody realizes it's too late for them to get saved and it's important also to understand and know that we are coming to a point to where if God allowed things to play out, there would come a point to where there's nobody saved. But for our sake, the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, there will be very few people alive and saved on the earth. In the days of Noah, there was only eight people saved. So there might not be very many people at all. And everybody I'm talking to in this video at this moment, I'd just be happy if one of you are saved. You think about how many of you do believe the Bible that you hold in your hand? Right there, that eliminates 99.9% .9 of all professing Christians in the, in the world today. Almost all of them. And then, those... I mean, okay, so I don't want to get into that. 
My I, my contention is that there aren't very, there aren't very many people saved today. There just aren't that many people that believe the Bible, the Word of God. They don't believe God. All right, so men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming upon the earth. In Revelation chapter 1, Behold, he comes with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so. Amen. When he comes in the clouds of heaven, all kindreds of the earth will well, shall well. Why? Because they know. It's the end of the world. They know. Time is up. They know they blew it. They had their opportunity to get saved and they waited too long to put all their trust and faith and hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. They waited too long because when that moment happens, it's too late. Too late to get saved. All right, so... Let me address this here. The sea and the waves roaring. Now, uh, there, I'm guessing there are going to be people, maybe there was already people uh, talking about, well, this is the hurricane. The hurricane is a sign that we're close to the end. No, 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 no. No, that's not what this is saying at all. Alright, this is just another one of those things that will happen at the end of the world. There's going to be absolutely no doubt when the end of the world happens, you're going to know. It. It's going to be unavoidable. You could be hiding under a rock and you'll know it. All right. You can't hide from the end of the world. Revelation 6, And said to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. This is the same moment in time when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. And all the unsaved will not be able to hide from it. And all the unsaved and saved and everybody on earth will know it's the end of the world. You watching Dan Rather right now or whoever talk about the hurricane? It's going to wipe out Tampa? Well, we'll see. Maybe. I don't know. But whatever happens... It's not the end of the entire world. I mean, the end, the end of the world could come today. But this hurricane would just be a coincidence. And it would be, I imagine, very small in comparison to the devastation that is coming upon the earth when the Lord comes in the clouds of heaven. This is just a like, little splash in the water. That This hurricane that we're seeing on on the news now hurricane um, Hilton or Milton Milton I think it is this hurricane Milton I it it's just a splash in the water just a little drop of water it's nothing compared to the devastation that is about to happen upon the whole earth okay so don't be afraid of these things that are happening. All right. Let not your heart be troubled. All right. Don't be troubled by these things that are happening on the earth unless you're not born of God. Then be afraid. Be very very afraid.